the diary of the expert traveler. Day one. Today, I arrived in Moscow, Russia. There are a lot of foreign people here. <laughs> the only ones who speak English are the ones who want to sell you something. <laughs> Today, we saw a cathedral built in the 17th century, the location of a Kremlin demolished by the Mongol Tatars, and the statue of Lenin. Day two. Today on the boat, Motorship Russia, I woke up to a strangely compelling, disembodied voice. I looked under the bed, <laughs> but there was nobody there. The voice informed me that breakfast was being served, after which we saw a 17th century cathedral and the site of the Kremlin demolished by the Mongol Tatars. <laughs> and the statue of Lenin with a crow on his head. <laughs> People in Russia certainly do things differently. For example, they celebrate the 4th of July on June the 12th. <laughs> I guess this is Russian Orthodox. I was determined to strike out on my own as an independent American in Moscow. I went into the huge store which said gum on the outside, but they didn't have any. <laughs> I went into the cafe and using my Russian language skills, I asked for vada, but the waiter produced vodka. <laughs> they look the same, but vodka costs more. I was very thirsty and drank six glasses. <laughs> As I left the institution, I noticed that Moscow was swaying. <laughs> Though it seemed like I wasn't on the boat at the time. I decided to take the subway back. I roamed around the subway ring line six times before the kindly babushka realized I was probably a lost cruise ship traveler and brought me back on motor ship Rossiya. Today, day three, we visited Uglich which is spelled like ugly, but doesn't matter. <laughs> and I found a real bargain. There was a nice young man standing on the street corner. He spoke very good English. He said that his father owned the Omega watch factory in Switzerland. And that his father, his father rather, sent him one watch every week to sell to prove his ability as a salesperson. He said he was interested in international friendship and so he preferred to sell the watches to travelers at the very, 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 very reduced price. He told me that I was the lucky traveler of the week and that the 3,000 watch he was offering to me only for $85. I asked if it kept good time and he said, have you seen an Omega watch that didn't keep good time? Of course I had. He said it was a good and latest model, so silent that no one could hear it tick. <laughs> well, of course I bought it. It was an amazing bargain. Day four. Today we saw a 17th century cathedral, and the site of the Kremlin demolished by the Mongol Tatars, and the statue of Lenin with a seagull on his head. The Russians continue to do things differently. They stand for church services. This must make it very difficult to sleep during the sermon. <laughs> Back on the ship, I had to change my cabin because my neighbors were honeymooners. And I wasn't getting any sleep either. Uh, it's difficult to sleep with uh, my ear pressed against the wall. Day five. Today, we saw a 17th century cathedral, a statue of Lenin, and the site of the Kremlin, demolished by the Mongol Tatars. I think the road we were on was also demolished by those Tatars. It really hadn't stood up as well as the Kremlin. Our tour group is turning out to be very nice. Yeah, there is Lenin! And that is... That is the real big Lenin, and actually, ladies and gentlemen, on the opposite side of the river, that used to be the site of the statue of Stalin, but Stalin was cleared. 
They were facing each other. They were talking across this canal. This canal used to be named after Stalin, and Stalin used to be standing there, but now they have fir trees growing, and Lenin still stands. <laughs> Okay, the photo up, and now let's carry on with our diary. Our two group is turning out to be very nice. And we find we have many things in common, including large stocks of souvenirs. The Russian mailboxes are not like ours at home. There is no collection time posted on them. And the opening for mail at the top is large and round, instead of being a narrow slot. Day six. Today we visited the 17th century, 17th century cathedral and the Kremlin demolished by the Mongol Tatars and the statue of Lenin. There was no seagull on his head, but anyone could, anyone could see that the seagulls had been there. <laughs> because there was a feather on Lenin's nose. I personally think that Russian was invented by the French guy with loose dentures. <laughs> this morning I saw three different people putting trash into the mailboxes <coughs> I've been using. I bet the post office people are not gonna like that. <laughs> Today I found a bathroom scale in my cabin and I was surprised that it, I'm at first pleased to see that my weight dropped from 175 when I left home to 90. <laughs> but then I was informed that the scale measured weight in kilometers. <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> and, and in actual fact, I have gained quite a few pounds. I find I have two pounds of Russian notes left, bank notes left, and nobody wants them. I think I'll take them home and make a paper mache statue of Lenin. <laughs> <laughs> then I will, I will sell it to the Russians. Day seven. Well, now I have seen an Omega watch that doesn't keep good time. It doesn't keep even bad time. Because there aren't any little wheels or anything else inside it. Of course, that nice young Mr. Omega personally guaranteed it, but he's an ugly. <laughs> ah, that is Uglich. And I'm now in St. Petersburg. Today, we could understand the local guide. But the bus windows were too fogged up to see anything. However, we were told that we passed a 17th century cathedral, a Kremlin demolished by the Mongol Tatars, and the statue of Lenin. This time with Paul McCartney also represented. <laughs> Day eight. Everybody noticed when we were leaving today that the aisle of the bus is narrower than it used to be. We now have so many souvenirs that the roadside vendors are trying to buy them from us. In St. Petersburg, the ship took on board 1,200 tons of water, one ton of fresh fruit, and the passengers brought over three tons of souvenirs. I have had a good time on this ship, and I will ever remember it as my best on motorship Russia. Oh.